Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dumb and Dumber. So last time we started the Legends yeah. of the North Quest mod, and long story short, and it was a long story, believe me, we spoke to this old man in the bar, and he, hello half-naked guy, well he told us that there was some treasure up in the mountains. He also told the same story to another guy who's mysteriously disappeared. We checked the dude's house. In his journal, he mentioned that the last place he was was Bruma. So we got into Bruma to look for him, and instead we walked into a spa not knowing where to go, got a message from a guy, and then the old man popped it up. So now we're looking for a priest, I believe, so I'm assuming we're going to be trying to find the chapel around here. Don't really know where the hell it is, so I guess I'll bring you back in when I find it. Because this place is bloody gigantic. Hey, bingo. About damn time, holy shit. I think I went in a giant circle all the way around the outside of town. It was like right here in the middle. Well, whatever, at least we found it now. I'm assuming it's gonna be this fella. Hello. Yes, my child. Is there something I can do for you? Are you a Scottish blind priest? Anyway, do you know Novalo? Novalo? Yes. Mm. Oh, would that be Goliath Novalo? <laughs> yes. I do remember him. A very pleasant man, if I recall. We spoke a few months back. Okay, well, I don't really care what he's like. That's the guy. What do you remember? I remember he was in a very agitated state when he spoke with me. The poor man was apparently overcome with extreme feelings of guilt at the time. He spoke of how he deeply regretted that he had allowed his own personal greed to cause him to drag his family out on some dangerous journey. What a dick. Why did he speak with a priest? Well, who knows? I personally believe that he was either seeking my spiritual guidance or the Nine's forgiveness over his decisions. I told him that neither I nor the gods could provide him with what he sought. A man's decisions are his alone, and he must live with the consequences. That's some deep shit. When we had finished our talk, the young man just wept uncontrollably. What a pansy. After he had gone, I knelt down. And I prayed for the soul of Goliath Novalo. Dun dun dun. Okay, so what you're saying is he's boned. Did he say where he's headed? Well, it has been a long time, you understand. I'm not sure I can remember where he said he was going. If indeed he said anything on the subject. Well, you better start remembering, buddy, otherwise I'm going to break your kneecaps. Please, Father, it's important for your survival. Well... I suppose you do seem to be a trustworthy kind of person. <laughs> Maybe you could even find the family and guide them home to safety. Yeah, I could do that, but what's in it for me? That's what I plan. Very well. Let me see. He did mention something about heading out toward the Gerald Mountains in a northeasterly direction. If I remember rightly. You damn well better. That would probably put his direction out towards Dragon Claw Rock. And possibly beyond, I should think. Okay. However, I must warn you to be extremely careful out there. The wilderness regions of the north have become heavily infested with a new threat. You're telling me? Werewolves now stalk our land, and they have demonstrated an unceasing determination to feed off any weary traveller that they happen across. Above all, avoid any route that leads directly through Dragon Claw Rock. This is thought to be the lair of a very large pack of the creatures. Well, shit. Be sure to read the notices that have been posted around the town. In fact, there's one on the chapel door outside. Well, ain't that convenient. Thank you. I will. Good day, my child. And may the Nine guide and protect you on your way. Well, they've done a piss poor job so far, so, you know, we can at least hope. What the hell are you doing, Tabris? Who are you? I, I assume you're a vanilla NPC. I don't really know. Anyway, I 
I don't think there's any map markers in this mod, which is a bit of a problem. Let's see if we can find this flyer about the werewolves. We already were read one, like, on the door on the very outside of the town, I believe. At least I think it was around Coral, but still. We read one either way. There doesn't seem to be one here. Well, all right then. I'll have to speak to the blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, yeah, we're just supposed to go northeasterly. And I don't think we have Dragon Claw Rock marked off on our map, so... I don't really know where I'm going, so we're just gonna go here and head northeasterly and... We'll see what happens. So, you know the draw. If I find something along the way, I'll cut you in. Otherwise, I'll just see you when we get there. Well, I don't want to alarm anyone, but I see a metric fuck ton of werewolves over there, so I'm guessing we're at Dragon Claw Rock. Or at least, you know, very close. Now, he distinctively said, go around rather than through. But where's the fun in that? Plus, I'm probably likely to get lost, so screw it. We're going in, and I completely missed that's an excellent start. Die! Still in storm mode. Yes, this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm freaking matter how many there are here if you can't get near me. But yeah, this is, uh... This is indeed a lot of werewolves, and no doubt we are going to kick the crap out of all of our followers whilst we're doing this. Yes, yeah, it's dark as balls right now, but I kind of need my shield. Where the hell are you? There you are. Okay, charge the magic. And you can. Hold on. Okay, I really hope that doesn't aggro the old Nord. Because, yeah, I'm going to be kind of screwed if he's pissed off at me. Guys, get out the way. I want to hurt you, but I will. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I hit him. Hey, there's like little werewolf cubs that aren't aggressive. And I'm going to murder you horribly. You'll just grow up into the big bastards. It needs to be done. Okay, and you... You seem tougher than ever. Oh, maybe you're not. Actually, maybe you are. Oh, good lord. That werewolf seemed tanky as hell to me, but maybe I was imagining that. Damn. You are messed up. <laughs> Plasma ball. Oh, I missed. Oh, damn. The sword is going ham, and yeah, I swear the sword hits me every time. It hits everyone else nonetheless. I hit the old guy again. I'm sorry, buddy. It's very dark. There's a lot of shit going on. Now, you seem humongous. Are you like the pack leader or something? Maybe that's maybe that's my imagination, but this one seems jive freaking gigantic, and also very nearly dead. Hey, aren't you dying? What? Are you, what the? Hell? <laughs> they just keep coming. Is it dead now? Okay, and it's got nothing. Well, it was worth a try, you never know. What the? Why are these the cubs? They're like the same damn size. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, get stone stormed. Is it dead yet? Oh my god, it's alive. Give me a hand here, just gank the shit out of it. Really? Really? What? That was... The... What the hell? <laughs> that thing was so damn tough and it was tiny. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so we are a Dragon Claw Rock. Good. So... He said northeast, I think? So I guess we just keep going northeast from here and hope for the best? Hello? Monsters of death to come- there is freaking carnage everywhere around here. That's kind of awesome. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going, you know the draw, I'll bring you back in if something else happens, but... I'm hoping we just get there with no more werewolves, but probably not very likely. Okay, we're coming up on a camp, I'm hoping... yes! Captain Navalo. For some reason I want to call him Navellius, I don't know why. And we found the guy, and he's dead as hell. Are we surprised by this? No! There's werewolves freaking everywhere, they never stood a chance. And that's his wife, I'm guessing. Did they have a kid or something? Is the kid around here? Quite possibly, that's disgusting. Hey buddy, what the hell are you doing? Oh no. No. Please, no. Not this. I can't live with this. Your face is bugging it's out. Poor family. And... And it's all my fault. I pushed him into this. Yeah, you're a dick. And look. Look there. The baby. They had a little baby. I never knew. Oh, how can the gods ever forgive me for this? They can't. You're going to hell. Please. 
Leave me be for a minute. I'll be all right. You go and check inside that tent for anything that might be useful. You mean like booty? Booty's useful. Okay, well, he's all cut up about that shit, and yeah, his face is completely bugged out because of the double face bug on the followers. So yeah, we're just gonna fix that very quickly because he looks creepiest. Wait, what? Why'd you take your shirt off? This is no time to be stripping, buddy. Frankly, it's just inappropriate. Well, all right then. Well, anyway, let's check inside the tents. See what the hell we can find in here. Hello? Hey, we found a journal. Okay, so I'm guessing this is what we're looking for. It's also quite long, so you know the draw. You want to pause the video, read it yourself, be my guest. And is there anything else around here? It doesn't look like it. I feel like there should be, but I guess there's not. But yeah, he mentioned a baby, but I didn't see the corpse, but I guess it's down there somewhere. Hello? Sorry, old bean. It's simply getting too dangerous to wait around anymore. Afraid you're jolly well stuck with me from now on. Well, okay, but can you at least put a shirt on? I mean, for Christ's sakes, whoa! Greetings. My name is Dran Morpheus, and I have reason to believe that you might be in possession of something that I have searched a long time for. Morpheus? Am I Neo? Really? And what might that be? Oh, I think you know only too well what I mean. I've been trailing you since Coral. I know exactly what it is you seek, my friend. Bodhi? For you see, I too seek the same prize as you. I tried to speak to your priest friend in Bruma, uh, but alas, he refused to speak to me. That was sad. <laughs> you killed him, didn't you? Unfortunately, for him, silence was a bad decision. Because, you see, now he will never speak to anyone again. As I said, so sad. No! Priest buddy! You mean, you killed him? That's my job. Well, he really gave me no choice now, did he? Anyway, enough of this. I suspect that you found something important inside this tent, and you will now hand it over to me. After which, I shall bid you good day, and we shall part company. On friendly terms, of course. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. You want it? Try and take it from me. Oh, very well, if you insist. Why do you people always have to do it the hard way? Because the hard way is more fun, plus this way I get to Time kill you. to die. Time to die! Oh, thanks, so. Get him, team! Including half-naked Englishman. Yeah. Roadhouse. I, oops, I just hit Tabris. In fact, I don't think I hit anyone. If anything, I should have hit Tabris. But, oh, here we go. Sunfire of justice. Oops. <laughs> I just disarmed the old man. I'm sorry. Well, at least he picked his sword back up again. Oh, you're a trooper, sir. You're nothing more than a shirt. <laughs> Holy shit. And now I'm burning everybody. There we go. And you know what? That's actually quite expensive. I'll take that. Right, what do you have, sir? You have some seriously broken equipment, but also kind of expensive. So we'll take that as well. We don't really need the money, but I like money. What do you want from me? Right, well, <laughs> right, well anyway, that's done. So I suppose I probably should have read the journal or at least check... Sorry, okay, you have the same thing to say. Or at least check our journal to see what it says now, because I don't actually know what the hell we're doing. Okay, seems I was not alone. Dark Elf treasure. Went to Bruma, killed the priest. Novello's journal. Uh, it was... Okay. That didn't tell me what to do. Uh... I suppose I actually need to read the journal, son of a bitch. I'm guessing there's some random ass direction we're supposed to be going in here, I just don't know which one. Hello? Oh, we found something. What have we found? Is this part of unique landscapes? I guess it might be, it's like a giant snowfield or something, it's kinda cool! It's giving me horrible flashbacks of Dark Souls 2 though. That's not cool. Let us never speak of the Dark Souls 2 snowfield ever again. And honestly, by the time this goes up, you probably haven't even seen that part, but trust me, it was terrible. It was just terrible. 
Anyway, uh, we've lost the old man. He's running into rock. What is with your AI? Walk around them, bro. You can walk over them. It's even worse. What are you doing? Sorry. You're saying the same thing. Uh, I don't know what to do. Give me a moment here. Oh, okay, we got another journal entry below the one about the Dark Elf that says we have to go southeast of here. Up in the mountains? I feel like southeast is going away from the mountains, but whatever, I guess we're gonna go southeast and see what we can find. I'm gonna go CCC what we can CCC at the bottom of the deep blue CCC. Hello, buddy, how's it going? Plasma ball! Holy shit! <laughs> Plasma ball is pretty good. I like it. But yeah, anyway, we're gonna go southeast, climb the mountains, and get. What is with this old man? They've lost him again. Oh my god. Right. Well, anyway, I'm gonna go get the old man back again. Really, it's a tree, dude. Walk around it. Jesus Christ, I believe in you and your freaking enemy AI. Well, it's not even an enemy. Just AI in general. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go up this mountain, and I'll bring you back in when something happens. Well, I found the Oblivion Gate randomly up on the mountain, I don't really... See, here's the thing about the Oblivion Gates that's weird to me. They're supposed to be specifically placing these things down at points of attack. I mean, I guess you could say up in the mountains they've got like a vantage point to attack downwards, but... It just seems a little bit random to me. Like, of all the places to spawn a gate so that you can attack Cyrodiil, you picked here. Really? I guess they're running out of spots at this point because there's bloody gates everywhere. And holy shit, so many enemies. And yeah, I don't know why the old... Oh, Jesus! Holy crap! <laughs> Plasma ball is dangerous, man. Okay, what... Oh, okay, they're with me. And yeah, I don't know why the old man's taking his shirt off now when he didn't have it off before. I mean, I probably broke it using Stone Storm. That makes sense to me, but... I don't get why the follower double-faced bug fix bell thingy was what made him take his shirt off. That was very, very strange indeed. I don't get it, man. I do not get it. What you get out of here? There's so many enemies, man. There's so many. This thing won't die. Okay, it's dead. I'm a liar. I'm a dirty liar. Right, well, anyway. We're going to keep going over here because I see something on the map. I just don't know what the balls it is. I'm hoping this is what we're looking for. And it would be about damn time. Like, good God, I have been climbing this mountain for quite some time. Are they... Really? What are you doing down there? Oh my god, you naked old bastard. What are you doing? Son of a bitch. I'm gonna save it and keep going and, you know, I can always reload if he doesn't actually keep up with me. But we found something. I seem to remember this building being... Ooh. Ah, I remember this as well. I think this building here is to deal with Midas magic. I think if I remember correctly, there's like an optional boss fight in there and it's like really tough. And I think uh, when you beat the boss, you can summon it, but... It's... I don't know, it's a long story, I don't really want to spoil it, but uh, yeah, I think that's an optional Midas Magic thing, which is really cool, so we'll come back and do that at some point, now that we've found it, but... Yeah, we've also found a building which is a... By the Nine Divines! I've never seen anything like that in all my born days! Quite a large chap, isn't he? Who? Uh, listen, my friend... I just like to say, in case we don't make it through this... You love me? That, well, it's been an absolute bloody honor to serve with you. Oh, well, you're damn right it has. It's about time I got some respect. The honor sir is mine. Oh, balderdash. I'm just a drunken old fool who likes a bit of adventure now and again. <sighs> I'm just sorry I never got to have that last painting bloomer. Yeah, I denied you. Oh well, there's no point in crying over spilt beer, what what? And so, to battle. I'll take point, Albin. Tally-ho! Okay, half-naked old man, I'll take the rear. What the hell are we doing? Oh! Ooh, there's a Janus freaking albino wolf over there. Werewolf. And yeah, I see you remember this guy being ridiculously tough. So, uh, I don't know why he spawned sort of inside that building and floating, but... I'm guessing that's like two mods kind of clashing with each other. He's kicking the shit at me. Get down here! You're not supposed to be up there! 
He's got like a really good vantage point. I can't get to you. He killed me. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's what happens, man. I couldn't get to the guy. Well, uh, at least I thought to save it. Okay, is he down now? He's kind of down. Hey, speaking of down, old man down. R.I.P. buddy, R.I. freaking P. I shall avenge me. Or, you know, maybe I won't because I'm nearly dead. Good God. I seem to remember this being, if not the last boss of this mod, then certainly one of them. I don't remember. Maybe this is the last part of the mod. It's been a long time, like years and years since I played this. But yeah, I don't think this mod's too terribly long. I don't really remember. I mean, they were talking about the Ice King and everything, so I guess we still have to take on the Ice King. Maybe this is just how we get there. I don't know, but this dude is tanky as shit. Oh, God. Don't stunlock me. He's stunlocking me. Okay, we have, like, one... Okay. Two potions. Wheel. Oh, we got, like, shitty weak healing ones. Okay. You get out of here, buddy. Just die. He killed me again. God freaking damn it. <laughs> okay, this could be going better. Like, it could be going a lot better. All right, this time... This time it's personal. And damn, he just like one shot the old man. And I guess that's so he's guaranteed to die. But yeah, maybe you can save him? I don't really know, because... You could probably do some funky stuff like block him off so that he can't get near the werewolf and then kill it before it gets to attack him. Because it seems like, you know, one hit's going to kill him, but... Yeah, there might be some way to get the old, the old guy to survive. I don't really know. I've never actually achieved that, so... Maybe I'll keep this file and we'll try it at some points. But probably not, because I'm lazy. Speaking of lazy, I'm just going to hang back here. Good work, team. You distract him with your face. <laughs> Damn, dude, got freaking launched. Okay, hey, I think it's dead, because Tabris ran over to me. Just, you know, give him one more in the ass cheek, just to make sure. All right, what do you have? You have an old rusty key, which I'm guessing... Yeah, I seem to recall... Wait a minute, do you have anything good? No, you have a brass freaking ring. I seem to recall there's a trap door inside this room building next to us. And I think that's where we need to use the key. But yeah, that place there that I mentioned, I believe that's to do with Midas Magic. It might not be. It, I might be confusing it, but I don't think I am. I'm sure that's like a, an optional, really tough boss fight for Midas Magic. So yeah, we'll come back and do that at some point. And... Some random dead dudes. Where the hell's the trap door? Oh. Got a free danger clone sword. Don't mind if I do. What do you have, sir? You have complete junk. But I'll take your money. Thanks, buddy. Much obliged. Right, so where's, where's the trap door? Oh, there you are. Oh, let's check out what the hell is going on in here. If I remember correctly, I think this might be the end of the mod. I may be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that one, but yeah, I don't remember this being particularly long. Anyway, give me a moment here to repair all our junk and, you know, bank all the random shit that we picked up, and then we'll carry on. Okay, Crapola has been banked and repaired. Let's go. Now, if I remember correctly, I believe this cave's pretty goddamn tiny. I think it may only contain the Ice King. I don't really remember. But yeah, I'm sure it's a very short cave either way. Hello? Oh. Are you the Ice King? I don't think you are. You're a weird-looking skeleton, buddy. Oh, yeah, that's right. The, uh, the Stendhal's bow has, like, a weird hidden effect where it does extra fire damage to undead. Which is kind of cool, and I also believe that it doesn't ever run out of charge, which is very handy, because charging weapons is kind of expensive as a bitch in this winter. Oh, there you are. And you have an ancient helmet that I really don't want, but I will take your sword. Yoink. Okay, where's Tabris? Oh, there you are. Good work, buddy. This is the one thing that really frustrates me about the Avelin gear. Like, the weapons and shit that ask you whether you want to one-hand them or not, it's a really cool, unique mechanic. Again, kind of like Dark Souls. Well, I guess in that respect, it's not unique, but... You know what I mean? You can't do that with normal things in Oblivion, or even Skyrim. So I like that. But for some reason, it unhockeys itself all of the goddamn time, and I don't know why. Oh, hello, buddy. Plasma... <laughs> I really love the plasma ball, holy shit! I also really love the sunfire. Duh! Again. Wait, what's the main doing over there? What the hell are you doing? Ouch! Hitting me! Did she just paralyze herself? What on earth are you doing? Holy crap. Well anyway, this guy once again has more Daedric, which I am more than happy to take at this point, because, you know, we're at that point where we're getting Daedric anyway, so it's not like it's gonna break the game. And, yeah, I thought this cave was, like, literally one room, but I guess I'm wrong about that. 
Oh, this looks ginormous. Yeah, okay, well that's gonna be our guy, and considering he looks like Mr. Frosty, I'm guessing he is probably gonna be the Ice King. Hey buddy, how's it going? Nice to see you. Wait, where, where are you going? Yeah, he's the Ice King. Okay, so if we take out this fella, I can't remember if it's the end of the mod. I seem to remember there was a ruin with a bunch of ridiculously tough werewolves in there. So maybe we're not done yet. I don't really know, like I said, it's been a long time. And you are tanky as crap, sir. And yes, I will keep stone storming you. I really love the way the wraiths get up, like they sort of rise up, like, you know, magical and shit. That's a cool effect. I like it. But, uh, it's not gonna stop me beating the shit out of you, sir. Yeah, plasma ball. Don't be ice me, you son of a bitch. Get right. Da, 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 da. We're just gonna bow him and hopefully he shoots the companions, but seems to be mostly going at me. So we're gonna try and dodge like a champion here, because I don't wanna have to waste potions, and we only have weak ones anyway, which are really bad. Oh god, took that right in the face. Luckily, we're in North, so ice does like nothing to us. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Good god! Will you just die? Thank you. Holy crap. Okay, and is that a unique stuff? Yeah, kind of. We'll take it anyway. And what do you have, sir? You have a key. Here. You'll need a key. Okay, so the key's gonna go to that door. I believe it's some... You know what? I'm not even gonna spoil it. Why would I spoil it? We're about to do it. And yeah, we'll just... I should probably bank some crap because we're carrying a lot of shit, but... We won't worry about that right now. Let's check out this and find out what the hell is in here. Even though I already know. It's booty! Look at it! There's so many gems here. Now, we're not gonna take all of these, and... Oh, hey, we have a scroll. To the reader of this text, let it be known that I, the Sonius, once rightful yet exiled king of the alien city of Hiran, do now reveal to you the location of my most sacred of the Dark Scrolls. Far from this place to the west, on the footpath beyond the shrine of the tentacle crab lies the scroll of the Guardian. In deep within the bowels of what must now be a crumbling ruin, this ancient and all-powerful scripture will grant its holder the ability to summon to one side an immortal spirit companion to forever serve and protect the Guardian. Oh, wait, what? Serve as protector and guardian, okay, I get it. So yeah, we're not done here, there is indeed a ruin, kind of like I thought there was, and... Yeah. Check out that shit, there's a million freaking gold coins in there, which we're not gonna take. Because that's a game-breakingly large, you know, amount of cash. As much as... It would be kind of handy, but it, we just would never need money anymore, so... We're just gonna leave that there. We will, however, take pretty much everything else, except... I'm not gonna pick up literally every gem, because as you can see... There's a shit ton of them, but we'll take, you know, a bunch of each gem. So that way, when we need, you know, a flawless whatever for Midas Magic, we actually have it. Speaking of which, we'll probably go back and see what else we can make with Midas Magic, but... We do need all those weird, uh, essences and shit, so... Maybe we have to go back to the realms and maybe they will have respawned by now, I don't really know, because if not, there only seems to be a finite amount of them. I don't get it, and we get the sword and the shield of the Ice King. And I believe they're custom. I think. And I'm over in Combatus Balls, holy shits! And my god, it's actually got more power than the Sunfire Sword, I like that. That is a pretty damn nifty looking sword. And let's check out the sword very quickly. That's got a lot of stuff on it. And it looks okay, I guess, I kind of prefer the Blades Barrier. The Blades Barrier is just like the coolest sword I think I've ever seen in any video game ever, but yeah. Really cool sword nonetheless, anyway. I'm gonna wait here next time we head to the west, find out where this Dark Scroll is, and probably die horribly, and then become much more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like, and I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.